TypeScript 2.4 ooh, came out uh, two days ago. And you can get it by reinstalling TypeScript globally. So now we're going to do an overview of the breaking changes in this experimental way. OK, so the first change. Should I just ask them if they? I mean, this one seems pretty straightforward. Let's try it out. Okay, who can explain what's going on here and why it wasn't available before? Any volunteers? Okay, I'm, I, I'm going to get the price then. So before, imports were available only on top level. So now you can actually import it in the middle of the function, and then you use new async await thing which was introduced like a couple of builds before, and then the function has to be async. So this means now you can import things in the middle of the function, which is super cool, and will dynamically load this. Cool. OK, I'm getting, I'm getting a game. That's cool. Yeah, it'll, it'll that's, come back. that's very interesting, actually. It'll come back as a promise, so you can use it in async await or like dot .ben off of it. Um, yeah. And I know there was like a lot of conversation in JavaScript world if they should allow it or not. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. This is actually one of my favorite things. So. Right. So, I, yeah, I was asked to do something where, um, I don't know, it was with the Beatles. I actually, it's on my GitHub, so I have an example of this on GitHub Daniels and Beatles right now. And uh, this is the new string enums, which before all of the enums were as integers, basically. And you could set your own numbers, but basically every enum had to be a numeric value. Now you actually have strings. And in my code, I did some stuff to say, OK, actually uh, enumerate them all so that you could do things like say, hey, I want to do something for every color uh, here as well. So now that you have string enums, it's, it's super cool. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. I, I don't know this person. It's completely random person, okay, from the crowd. So anybody can win. It's a plant. Uh, okay, so the next thing is we have better generics inferencing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two carb decks for this one. Right? I believe it's that the type S is automatically inferred due to the, uh, due to the uh, ability to uh, <coughs> the uh, lambda. Lambda? Oh, so now we can specify the type for S? Correct. Uh, because it's so. is it the same as string, no? It's inferring it from the length property. It is right. Th this one I do know. Yeah, so before you would have to annotate the type S as a string, otherwise it would uh, default to an object, but now it can inference from the dot length property what type it is, so it would be string. So in other words, now you can sometimes uh, let your types flow through your return types. Okay, next. Oh, this one looks pretty simple. Yeah, it's, it's also more helpful when it comes to error checking. OK, so what happens with TypeScript now is that it tries to unify parameters if you have two single signature types. So um, as a result, when you're comparing generic signatures, like it's more strict with its bug checking. And so you'll get more errors. So like, again, so um, for example, before it always compared parameters bivariantly. But uh, this was a problem when it came to promises and observables. So uh, now if you have like two callback types, then um, what will happen is instead of relating those parameters uh, bidirectionally of the callback function, I mean, it'll relate them covariantly. And so it'll catch a lot of silent errors now that it didn't catch before. Um, OK, so who understood this? Can you raise your hand? <laughs> So basically, it's not. I think it's not only checking the. Yeah, okay. Okay. If you ask me about this, no. Can you go back? Or <laughs> have already that one? This one? That one? Yeah, it's it's easy, right? Is it? Easy. The a oh. equals b says that a actually the first line says that we have. Uh, some some structure that has two different types, T and U, okay. right? And B says that we have some structures that 
We have uh, the same type uh, as for both, right? Yes. So yeah. S can be, uh, we can treat them as different ones. But the second line, that's in the second line. In the first line, A equals B. Those are different types. You cannot say they are equal, right? Just looking at those equations. All right, so my understanding is this type, it has like X and Y of the same type. Type S, yep. while this one has right. X of type T and Y of a type U. So there is clearly you can assign same to different, but you cannot assign different to S, right? Because if I assign T plus S, it would expect T here, but then U comes in, and it's like, boom, error. Get their cards. Okay, and the final breaking change is that TypeScript now has weak type detection. So if all of your parameters are optional, then that would be a weak type. Um, but you can't assign anything to a weak type if there's no overlapping properties. So if you look here, this options has data, timeout, and max retries, whereas opts has payload and retry on fail. And so I can't pass it an options object and pretend it's ops because their properties don't overlap at all. Um, and if you want to read more about these changes, you can check out uh, their blog post on Microsoft about the new TypeScript changes, or you can go to their GitHub repo and they have more in-depth code samples. And now you theoretically are all caught up in <laughs> are all TypeScript 2.4 experts.